there, this is Amy Hoyes with the Grand Ledge Chamber of Commerce, and today I'm talking to Marlene and Carrie Doe from Regency at Lansing West here right off of Broadbent in Delta Township. So thank you guys so much um, for joining in and talking to me today. Coming. Yeah, thank you. So tell me, what is your favorite thing about Grand Ledge? What do you guys love about the Grand Ledge community? I think the way the community came together um, during the pandemic, okay. you know, um, our residents didn't have any visitors, so they mm -hmm. actually were sending items to donate to us. They were sending cards for the residents to read. That's great. It was it was very inspiring. You know, they couldn't see their family, so the outside community reached out. Right, that's wonderful. Well, it just makes them feel special when they're kind of yes. shut in for yes. so long. They were sending so. cards and writing on the windows and yes. Oh, that's yes. so wonderful. It was great. It was like the outdoor entertainment. And you know, some of that stuff, I think, that was done during the whole COVID shutdown, you hope that we don't lose some of that warm and fuzzy caring about yes. others. Yes, for sure. So you really hope some of that kind of continues. Yeah. So. Okay, so first I have some fun, different kind of questions I wanted to ask you guys. So for you, Carrie Jo, is there a sort of a hidden talent that you have? Maybe? I do. Okay. I, I can actually juggle. Ooh. I can juggle three items. Of what? Of like, so like <laughs> balls or like yeah. bowling pins or what do you juggle? Right, right. Anything, really. <laughs> really. As long as there's three of the same, I can get it. Okay. Uh, you know, it might take me a second with bowling pins. That might be a little heavy. <laughs> right. Um, that's fun. Yeah. That's fun. I have a lot of fun. I have a lot of nieces and nephews that I entertain growing up. With I'll just say, I bet that that was probably a thing. Yes. That's me again. So yes. Good. <laughs> um, and so, Marlene, I have heard that you have, I think both of you have, some interesting breeds of dogs or dogs that do funny things. So tell me about that. I don't know if it's so funny, but we have a German Shepherd <laughs> okay. and a Chihuahua mix. The Chihuahua mix is a little jerk. Doesn't, ah. doesn't anyone touch them? And really? What's it mixed with? Uh, palm chi, I believe it's a Pomeranian. Okay, does it rule the house over oh, the German Shepherd? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. But the German Shepherd, although he's a very, very smart dog, does a bunch of tricks, he is very um, protective. Okay. Uh, the, the whole house? The or? whole house. Um, I can't have company over unless he's what? away. Uh, yeah, a dog <laughs> can't walk by without him almost going through the window. Uh, really? Oh, this is my castle. He's no one. Very. And her dog is bigger than she is. Yeah. He's a 120 pound German Shepherd. <laughs> what full breed German Shepherd? Full breed. Shepherd. Beautiful Czech, dog. Czech Shepherd working dog. Wow. Yes. Wow. Oh, I smart. actually moved houses for him because I couldn't have a fenced in yard at the old house. <laughs> I bought a house in Grand Ledge, have a fenced in yard for him now. Good for I bought you. a whole house for my German Shepherd. Wow. <laughs> I, I had to do that. I have a hound great day and I had to buy a minivan again because my dog couldn't fit in my four Yep. There you oh go. my goodness. Yes. Things we do for things we of. Do <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. So, Carrie Jo, I've heard you have a, some cute dogs. I do. <laughs> I, I have two dogs. That my Australian Shepherd is four years old, extremely smart. And Lots of, hair. Like, uh, lots of hair. Lots of hair. I have mm -hmm. to vacuum every day. I bet. I bet. She's really fun. She likes to chase bubbles when I blow them. She'll jump up, do somersaults Aww. to catch them. And I'm a good neighbor in the backyard blowing bubbles to my dogs. So <laughs> that's okay. That's what we do for yes, our dogs. Exactly. And then my baby, you know, she is three years old, and her name is Birdie. She's a Birdie. Teddy, okay. Birdie. Okay. And she's a teddy bear puppy. Uh, breed. Teddy, teddy bear breed. Okay. She is the most loving demeanor dog. Cuddles and will always just be by my side. Um, very calm demeanor compared to the Australian Shepherd who is always on goal. So you got a snuggly, you got a alert. playful dog and a snuggly dog. Yeah. So is a teddy? I've never seen or heard of a teddy bear. Oh my gosh! Dog. Is I it wanted, a puppy teddy bear? It looks like a teddy bear. It runs like it, when it's running, it looks like a big bear cub. And I wanted one for three years, and yeah. I was obsessed with this dog breed. Okay. And then I thought, I just for a year thought my husband was going to come home and surprise me with this dog one day, and it actually happened. Oh. He came home. He surprised you with the dog. He surprised me with the teddy bear dog. Oh. And it was oh. for our anniversary, and he just came through the door, and I dog. just cried. Oh, was, I was it a puppy so when you got it? A little baby, oh. and now she's probably about. 15 pounds. Is she full grown now? She is. Okay. She's a lot of hair, oh, but that's it doesn't so fall cute. off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I just love our dogs so oh. much. Well, tell me about Regency at Lansing West. Kind of what, you know, about your facility. I know you guys have been faithful chamber members. You've done some stuff with us back when we could do things for outreach. <laughs> right. right. Tell us about your facility, kind of what's going on here. So Regency at Lansing West is a subacute rehab, skilled mm -hmm. nursing facility. We are, we have 120 beds. Okay. And um, it's the transitional period from the hospital getting out, getting out to home. Right. So this is the stepping stone where we get them better, stronger with therapy. Good. And then you know send them on their way home. So the goal is discharge. to get them back home. Yes, yes. for yes. sure. Yes. Good. We do have a high uh, census with our subacute rehab 
patients, okay. guests is what we call them here, right. the agency. And we also open our doors for long-term care for new loved ones that are at home and uh, needing that extra assistance uh, okay. to bring them here and, um, and have a comfortable uh, stay, stay here. Yeah. Well, well that's great. We are a five-star facility also. Good, good. Well, that's a great service. I mean, that, that's something that will always be around. I think people are always going to need that. Yes. That's, that's that stepping stone and having professionals mm -hmm. help somebody when they come out of the hospital right. or they need or they need some care and some assistance. So Absolutely. that's a wonderful service. Absolutely. Well, thank well, you. Yeah, well, thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. Thank, thank you for coming you. out. Yeah, thank I really so appreciate much. it. And thank you for watching Gavin on the Grind. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.